Hey guys, what's up? It's the Electrical Code Coach here, and this is the Electricians in Action, where we get together every morning and we talk about the code before we go out and fight the good fight. I'm so thankful I get to be a part of your journey, and this channel is designed to help you become everything you can be in life, business, and in the electrical industry. If these videos are helping you, please hit that thumbs up button, and please subscribe for more videos like these. Let's go ahead and get into today's lesson. Alright guys, so we found ourselves this morning in 702.4B2. And here's the score. So the, the major question is, is what size generator do I use? What size generator do I use? And today we're talking about, you know, automatic transfer switches. If you look here in 704, uh, 702.4B1, it allows you with manual transfer switch equipment to manually select the loads and that satisfy code. Meaning that you could technically put a manual transfer switch for your entire home on a tiny generator and legally be allowed to manually switch them and it still satisfy code. With that being said, it's probably not going to be advised to do that. We you typically do a sub panel and then try to rate them the same. But if you read the code here in the 2020 702.4B manual transfer switch equipment where a manual tra transfer switch is used as an optional system. It must have the adequate capacity of the rating to supply all of the equipment intended to be operated at one time. The user of the optional standby system shall be permitted to select the load that is connected for the system. Meaning that legally, you could put a smaller generator, fire up your whole panel, and then manually load shed because you're doing it all manually. Now, when you get into part two here, it talks about automatic transfer equipment. Now, here's the score, guys that your the the generator is supposed to match whatever you're going to find for that load in article 220 essentially if you want to sum it up very simply you're supposed to be able to handle the entire load of that system all at one time if you have an automatic transfer switch meaning if you got a 200 amp main and you did you know and you didn't want to do the load calculation you would just have to size it as a 200 amp main now we know that's not going to be practical or cost effective most of the time you put in a 22 kW I think the overcurrent device is going to be a 125 so here's the score how can we take a 125 amp generator or or smaller and put it on a 200 amp home well if you look here in part B that's exactly how we do it. And if you look at um, the pictures that I've got on the screen here, I'm going to talk about one method that you can do it. What the code states is that you have to be the generator has to be sized to handle the entire load based off of Article 220 or have a load management system. Now, in the past, previously, you would have had communication wires in order to load shed or, you know, done it, excuse me, achieved it by some other method. Well, nowadays, Generac has came up with the smart, smart management module. I think it's called an SSM or SMM. So it's a smart management module. And these ones do not require communications, uh, communication cables. And I'm sure every brand has an equivalent. We're talking about Generac generators this week, but this is a very awesome device. So what this is going to do is you're going to be allowed to put this device that I have on the screen and you're going to be allowed to hook it up to up to eight appliances on the system. And what that is going to do, and for each appliance you're going to be able to select a priority so i put one on the range i put one on the hvac i put one on the water heater and i want them and i select a priority in order of importance all the way up to eight so uh, and that may change and grow to more appliances in the future but i believe the system right now as it stands is eight so i would i could go up to eight different appliances and i install one of these boxes very easy to wire power in power out um, just follow your manufacturer specifications and what it's going to do is is the reason these ones don't need communication wires is because they run off a of frequency it's awesome so when the generator starts to get bogged down it'll notice a change in frequency and this smart management module will actually shut off an appliance and then re and then once the system stabilizes and all the other loads are met it will bring these smart management modules back online one at a time until you you know until it reaches its maximum again and the, there's a flux uh, a change in the frequency of the generator so it, these are really cool devices so say I went to my range and I put that as priority one or my HVAC and I put that as priority one after you know say if the system gets bogged down it'll shut off all eight of those as necessary 
all eight of the smart management modules, and then slowly start to bring them back on as the load stabilizes. So say as soon as the power transfer is over, very high demand, uh, you know, say you hit a high demand at first, it's going to shut those smart modules off. And then as the load stabilizes, say once the motors and the compressor settle down, it will slowly start to bring the system back online one module at a time as, you know, in order of the priority that you set until it stabilizes to where it will run. That's how we can legally take a 125 amp generator and put it on a a 200 amp service in the same with an automatic transfer switch now there's other ways to achieve this um, where you can manually load shed or you can only provide uh, generated to a portion of circuits that does not exceed that generator's values but if you want to go ahead and put a whole house automatic transfer switch you can take a hundred amp generator or a 90 amp generator or whatever and install these install these smart management modules technically 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 you would have to sit down and do all the math and stuff but listen if you take your largest appliances and you put them on these smart management modules, you're not going to have any trouble because the generator is going to be a smart generator for you. These ones from Generac do not require communication wires. As soon as it you know, uh, notices the flux in the frequency, the change in the frequency that the generator is being bogged down, then it's going to automatically drop those out and bring those back in at level of priority. So this is a very cool way to do automatic load shedding. Again, I do want to reiterate, if you do a manual transfer switch, the code allows you to just manually load load shed and control that you hear your generator bogging down you can you know uh I, I, honestly i tell people to start with them off and then fire them up a little bit at a time so recently we did a small generator we went over there we set him up i trained him to turn his refrigerator back on first and then wait about 10 to 30 seconds and then start to turn all the other loads on that way he doesn't get hit with any peaks and you know perhaps damage the generator or you know completely shut it off also, I want to note that some of these smaller generators now and perhaps larger ones have smart, uh, it's built in smart. You could literally, this was a plug-in Honda generator that we installed and uh, you could watch the load on his smartphone as the load went up, you know, when he ran the microwave and then as soon as the load went away, it dropped down and you could actually monitor it on his smartphone. So the technology's changing, guys. The biggest thing is don't get overwhelmed. Have a great working relationship with your inspector. Don't stop until you feel like you have the correct answers and just keep grinding and keep getting it. So listen, if these videos are helping you guys, please hit that thumbs up button today. Let's get this channel rolling. Let's get the word out there. I just want to see you guys win. This channel is designed to help you become everything you can be in life and in business and in the electrical field. Whew, I'm just so excited this morning. You guys have a happy Thursday. Let's go ahead and get to it, y'all.